What's up, everybody? Look at the Geechus. My name's Steve, and today did some customizing of some SH Monsters bootlegs or the Legion Cole Creations figures that I recently got in. We did reviews. We've had some uh, comparison videos, quite a few, probably too many, but hey, eh, whatever. <laughs> and finally got around to painting these guys up. Um, real quick, just to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown of what I did, and then we'll go into. Uh, closer looks of the actual paint jobs. Um, starting with the Rodan, what I had to do here, uh, for the most part with these guys, I didn't do any primering. It was a lot of mainly dry brushing and then just adding a bunch of layers because for the most part, the base coloring for these guys worked pretty well. Um, but I ne needed to highlight them and ex help accentuate the figures a little bit more. Um, that's the way I'm going to say it. Anyways, for Rodin, uh, initially what I did starting with it is I added on layers of paint on the bottom of the wings here, uh, starting with a dark red color. Uh, real quick, for the most part, for a lot of these colors, I just kind of mixed and mixed the paint up how I <laughs> wanted it to. So I don't really have like a specific paint that I use. Like I, for these guys, I use a lot of like folk arts and the acrylic paints like you can find at walmart it's generally what i do with all these customization figures i still really like using that stuff because it's just easy to fix your crimes with it like if you screw up it's easy just to wipe the stuff away wash it off and start over again granted it takes a lot more work to get it to look good compared to some of the other options out there but i don't know it's just easy for me to work with and so far i haven't been too disappointed with the stuff but again went over the wings here with a red coloring uh just mainly went over the entire base of the wings here and then wiped off all of the axis paint. And then I did this also with a orange color and then with a brighter yellow color. Just adding some additional layers, wiping the paint away. And then I did some dabs of white here and there, wiped that away and then went back over it with the orange and yellows in certain sections just to help make the bottom here colors pop and give it a little bit more variety because for the the game plan here is because i'm going to be having this looking like it's flying around when you see rodeo flying around the wings definitely seemed a lot brighter in certain sections and like with like parts of the heat and stuff coming off of it for the wings here i just mixed some dark red and browns to get the coloring here dry brush the entire rest of the wing here uh for the top then did the same thing for the body section here because looking at it when it's getting hit by missiles and in certain the light shots you can definitely tell that the skin coloring was of a red shade and to make it more akin to traditional rodan went with that coloring for the face here did more dry brushing also for the beak here went over at the base of the beak with a black paint in order just to highlight around the brim because looking at it again in the movie it didn't seem like the entire beak was black but it had highlights so I went with that route then just painted the claws of the fingers and same with the feet here add a little bit of black to some of the spikes on the end there and then just went over the figure with some clear mod podge uh mixed up the mod podge and water first so did 50 50 and then airbrushed it over top of this uh and then afterwards i added a little bit more orange because i wanted to accentuate some of the colors i don't think i filmed this part but you guys can see here just added some oranges here and here throughout the wings to kind of give it more of that fiery accent and then just like i did with the wings just like dabbed it on wiped it off dabbed it on wiped it off dabbed it on wiped it off here and there and that's pretty much it also did a little bit around the chest hole here just because i wanted it to kind of replicate the stinger look. I know it's supposed to be on the shoulder, but because I had the hole already here, I just kind of went with that. So when you have it pegged in, you don't notice it. But when you remove the peg, it's there. <laughs> so if I want to have them standing on the shelf, maybe posing it, it kind of gives it the look anyways. Uh, for the most part, for the rest of the kaiju, left the eyes alone because I thought the eyes came out pretty good in the outside of the package. Same with the tongue here. And because of the base coloring, I think it helps to show off the wings a little bit better with the detailing than it did beforehand when the mute scaling and stuff was definitely being hindered by the 
same like black color that they used throughout the entirety of it. And yeah, uh, didn't actually really tear the figure apart much. Uh, I know for some, pretty much all the SCS monsters I've done, I've like tore them up, literally disassembled them, primer, repaint them, and went over it. Or at least disassemble them so I can paint each of the individual sections. Uh, but there isn't really much going on with these, especially with the bootlegs. It's got extra parts, but they don't really like articulate. Um, so I didn't really worry about it. Because uh, even posing it, you don't notice any of the difference. Like the parts that might not have been painted so well. Because it still blends in. Because, again, it would be like, I'd articulate a bit, brush it, articulate a bit, brush it. For Mothra here, uh, she was a bit more of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Decided, pretty much redid the entire body. Uh, this is one of the most part, the original has a lot of, like, the tans, tans and browns all over it. Tans, browns, and oranges coloring. But for Mothra, I went over the head with a light grayish color. Uh, it was pretty much just light gray, mixed a little bit of white in with it, just lighten it up a little bit. Went over the top of the head and then dry brushed some white onto it just to give it a little bit of texturing to kind of make it look a little bit more like fuzz. Then uh, did a little straight white for the antennas uh, around the eyes, uh, the mouth. Got initially a brown, but ended up changing it to black later on. Uh, for the wings, added a little bit of white paint, but I initially added the paint and then kind of smeared it with my thumb uh just kind of patted it down in order to give it a little bit of texturing to kind of make it look a little bit more fluffy uh for the rest of the body uh pretty much went over it with a brown and then did some tan highlights or dry and then i did some orange dry brushing over top of it to give it that a little bit of differentiated color uh but Initially, uh, afterwards, after getting the majority of the thing painted, uh, decided for the claws, did a brown, and then went back over it with the orange dry brushing. I lightened up the legs, the undersection of the body here, with the orange to give it a little brighter. Because from what I could tell from the film, the the bottom was definitely lighter than the top. And for the top, I dry brushed a little bit of black over top of the browns and oranges, just to darken a little bit. And then around the top of the head, initially I had it with that light gray-white color. Went over it with a brown color down the center stripe and around the head. Because, again, looking at the film, it wasn't all white to begin with. Uh, there was a little bit of browns. Uh, some stuff I've seen has like a little bit of orange in it on it too. But because of the size of the figure and the detailings on it initially i decided to forego trying to add a little bit of the orange because it would have got lost anyways for it being so um abysmal and then again just went over the mouth uh added the black to it and that's pretty much it and then just wiped it down and the same thing just uh this one i actually brushed on the watered down mod podge just to help sh shine up the figure a little bit and also to protect the paint job afterwards all right, just to give you guys a little bit of a closer look at the final result, pretty happy with it. Uh, as you guys can see with the wings, are definitely on a redder side. Uh, the undersection, again, I kind of wanted... Initially, I was thinking about just immediately make it have it look like the NECA, having a lot of it just being reds and orange with maybe a few highlights here and there. But I decided to go with the flight look. Which, when you see him flying around, especially like when he goes to dive bomb Mothra, the wings actually brighten up. And a lot of it has to do with the air heating up the tip of the wings here, so it gives it a brighter color and just illuminates much more in those sections, especially when it's just flying around. Which, the figure pretty much sitting on my stand is going to be flying around. It's I'm not going to probably have this thing really posing on top of anything. And then, it's also maybe a little bit redder. Than what it was in the movie but to me it seemed like he was decently red and even like with the original monster arts one it's of a red coloring but the NECA was more of like a charcoal color and that still pops off real easy <laughs> we'll say that but i'm still pretty pleased with it i actually really like how the orange turned out in some of the sections here to give it a little bit more of that like burnt umber look and helps to make it just like stand out a little bit better in the lighting then face 
turned out nice too. Again, you got like the blacks around the jaw here just to help highlight the edges a little bit better. Again, didn't do anything with the bootleg eyes because I thought they were just nice to begin with. So I left those, same with the ton. Didn't touch that really any either. You guys can see my holy chest with a little bit of that orange color on the inside of it. Again, to make it kind of look like the stinger went into it. Uh, claws. Got the black on the nails there. Have it also on some of the spiky protrusions of the feet. Highlighted those a little bit as well. Uh, you can see the back here is a little brighter than what I had on the underside. Uh, this side especially. But I wanted it to look uneven. Because you're not going to see the entire wing section here. It isn't going to be super bright in every section. Uh, so I want, initially when doing this, I tried to make sure it had a little bit of inconsistency here and there. But you can also see too, you can still see like the reds on the top section here and then it gets brighter as you come down. But that's just mainly the way I painted it where I used a lot of reds for these sections. And then for the orange, I didn't make it quite as wide. For the yellow, I didn't make it quite as wide. So it gets brighter as you come down the wing here. But... Yeah, super pleased with the way the Rodan look turned out. Mothra, on the other hand, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, it would have been nice to maybe get a little bit better detailing out of it, but for the most part, the bootleg mold probably isn't the <laughs> most ideal for uh, trying to pull out a lot of the extra sectionings. Uh, for the most part, it's a lot of different dry brushing techniques to make the body look like fuzz as much as possible uh the back i think turned out the best with making it look very fluffy if you will uh kept it brown so we can still see a little bit of the whites peeking through here and there because i thought with the wings here having the white on them uh should show a little bit on the body here um but you can definitely see the only thing i really don't like is the way the white here turned out i think it's fine but it's more or less like the closer you get it doesn't look quite as clean but again that's kind of the the my aim was so that it looks more like fuzz with it not being consistent and having little speckles at the end here and there to make it look a little bit more fuzzy so when you're looking at it on your shelf it looks fine up close not bad, but <laughs> I would say not my best work. But with the eyes, I actually used a color changing paint, which I haven't really seen it do the color changes. It depends on the lighting. It would be if it's either a blue or a purple. Uh, I think this, the claws turned out great, though. Really like that. The way the back section is here, too, with it being darker on the top, later on the bottom, I think turned out good. Mainly the body. If I took the wings off right here, I think I'd be super happy with it. But because they didn't add any fluff to begin with, um, one thing I might go back over at some point is maybe taking an, exec, uh, taking an exacto blade and going over top of it to try to replicate the fuzz and then going over top of it might be an option. Um, but for the most part, it's sitting on my shelf. I think that it's going to do justice. But let me know in the comment section below how you guys think it turned out. Again, pretty pleased with it myself. Rodan, really love. Malta, still pretty happy with it. And actually looking at it too, um, again, I think a lot of my problem is just because it's the bootleg. The way the detailing rolls on the Monstarts is definitely a lot more crisp on the body section here than it was on the bootleg <laughs> for the most part. So a lot of the detailing here, I kind of just had to make it work. <laughs> and then for the Rodans. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna say I like mine better. <laughs> uh, it's still, I don't think this is actually still that bad of a paint job. It just really, it just really needed that like extra little pop of the flame effect on the bottom. Because if it wasn't for that, I think this would be perfect. Uh, that being said, mine's a little bit more red. A little bit more red. It's got a little bit more of a shine to it here and there, but that's because just the clear coat hasn't had enough um, attention to it as of yet. 
but for the most part a lot of the accentuating details are pretty much the same uh but i will say with the monster arts one they actually painted the beak entirely which for me i allotted to just highlight the beak and then yeah still Really pleased with the way the fire effect turned out on the wings. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys saw. Do you guys like this paint job? Do you guys like the original? Or is NECA more your thing? Let me know down there in the comment section below. And I'll just defeat this guy just by hitting that like button. Subscribe and come over here. I also got an Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. If you guys like to keep up to date with the channel and donate, we greatly appreciate it. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.